you know what time it is? It's time to get Sasa with another Super Saiyan Jutsu reaction to Vinland Saga Season 2. Last time was kind of crazy. We had an awesome little backstory uh, on the chick. I keep forgetting her name, but seeing how her and her husband were, how they got separated due to, you know, war. Uh, that was kind of wild. Uh, but she's going to go tend to his wounds this episode. I don't know how that's gonna fly. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how it's gonna fly right now. Is Snake chilling there as well? Like, is that gonna happen? I'm not sure, but we still got Knut's army on the way. We have Knut's army on the way, and right now they're gonna need, they're gonna need all the help they can get. So what I'm assuming is when Knut's army gets there, they might actually use the husband as somebody on their side to fight Knut's army. That's, that's what I'm thinking right now, but again, I could be completely wrong because Vinland Saga, does that um, but if you guys want to catch us early and uncut make sure you guys check out the phantom troop and or patreon either one has the same tiered structure over there just know that viz and anaplex content will be specifically over on the phantom troop just due to copyright stuff on patreon and live reactions over on the phantom troop as well so if you guys want to catch this uh, or um, some other reactions live you guys can do that but are you guys ready to go let's get this thing moving like the husband yeah they got him outside too. Look at this. Yo, what are you wanting to do? Tony Kaku, Okugataka, do stemote. Walk him, I okus at the noga. Goats, Baba me. What you doing here? Kegao stayed in the scene. Kiss no go, I was do this. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Right. He has a point. Man. Oh, nah. <laughs><笑><笑> Yep, he can't he can't resist. Uh -huh. Wow, this is probably so painful, bro. Specifically him, because he doesn't even know his son's not alive, bro. Instant pain, bro. Yeah. No, Look at I cut the ropes, like I can't, bro. Oi. あ、大丈夫だ。手当てなんて言わねえで、もっといいことしてやれよ。ファーストはユーワー。今だけでも縄を。なテンポ。これは無理なそうだんだな。His <laughs> You know, they thought she thought everything was all good. A lot of the women did. The guys wanted more, and now you gotta give him this news. <laughs> but it won't. <laughs> you don't even get it. <laughs> Not one man's enough. I wonder if she's... Is she cutting it? You're getting too close, bruh. You wanna try something slick? Ooh! That neck! Yo. Yo, neck, bro, you got tightened just now. Oh. You better get that sword right now, boy, because you about to die, son. You got to get up. She's like, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. She's terrified. Oh. 
Oh no. Oh no. Damn, that's a hand, boy. Oh no, bro. Snake gonna kill him, bro. Oh. See? See? Yup, Snake don't play. He's like, nah, bro. I gave you the opportunity before. You disrespected me twice. It's time to get these hands. The inf the the serious death. Like, nah, man. My bitch married. That's basically what she's saying. <laughs> mm. Mm. I like that Thorfinn is aware though, like he's self-aware of what's going on, right? And he knows, like, like even him accepting that, you know, what his faults were, except that he did that was wrong. Mm. Yep. Right. Isn't that crazy? Instead of making something or you know developing something to trade, isn't it crazy that that's considered ancient times? Like they think that there's ancient times to them. Mm. <clears throat> Facts. Yep. That's so interesting. It's such an interesting concept. That's the thing where it's like, bro, you don't like war, but you're gonna have to fight. But you gotta defend yourself, bro. Like, you can't just let motherfuckers run, like... Right. So nothing will change, essentially, he's talking about. He's like, well, if you do nothing, then... about to do, bruh. Hmm? He knows. Mm. 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 Yeah, you know, she's in danger, cuz. Snake pissed. Awesome. Awesome. Again, storytelling A1. A1, bro. Storytelling is A1. Um, yeah, man, I wonder what Arnie did. Did I wonder if she actually untied him enough to actually, you know, get him to, to stand up and be able to do that. But again, we didn't really see what happened after that. Um, that's going to be interesting, though, to see where they are. But he still don't know that she don't have the sun, bro. Where is the sun is the main question right now. You know, that's super interesting to me. It would be kind of hilarious though if Snake was actually her son, but obviously Snake's too old. But now that they've been, she's been a slave for some time. It's like, all right, well, how old would your son be now? Um, who exactly took him? Um, but again, I feel like there's gonna be a point at which if he doesn't get killed before Canute and them get there, it's gonna come down to that, like the end of the the enemy of the enemy is my friend type of situation, where it's like, look, like we both need each other right now for this task at hand. So I'm thinking that's probably the route that we're gonna end up going down. But again, just my just my prognostication. You know, I've been wrong in the past, but I've also been right in the past. So um, if you guys are manga readers, I would love to know your guys' thoughts so far on the adaptation. Again, I've said it multiple times this season, I absolutely love the storytelling that we're getting in this season. It's such a breath of fresh air. Um, so I, I'm, I'm loving it. Uh, and Thorfinn, you know, like he's so conflicted. You know, he, he wants to be good uh, because he feels so guilty. 
but there's gonna come a time where he's going to have to defend himself. It's gonna happen, right? Whether it be protecting um, his friend. Um, yeah, like I, I, just don't, I don't see, I don't see a future where he just sit back and watch, or just continues to run away. This, he's gonna have to stand up for something, and I think that's gonna be the way that he atones. Is not necessarily looking to kill somebody, but I'm gonna stop you, right? And it may have, he may have a Batman clause where he's like, he he doesn't kill, right? Maybe he doesn't kill anymore. It's just like I'm gonna beat you until you you can't fight anymore. You know what I mean? So. Hopefully we see more of that or a start of that this season of just kind of where that journey is gonna gonna go. Um, again, because his character right now is so complex, especially compared to the first season where he was just on revenge path, right? This is definitely more nuanced and he's really dealing with the trauma of having to go through all that, not being able to, you know, to fulfill his revenge. And this kind of went, kind of now he's feeling like I kind of did all this killing all this stuff really for no reason he's feeling some kind of way about it about himself obviously the the ghost of his father is haunting him about like bro i didn't even want you to go down this path to begin with you know what i mean like and it just made it worse so yeah um it's, it's awesome to me i'm actually really loving season two and again let me know you guys thoughts i'll catch you guys in the next one